Hello, in this video, we're gonna go over uh, drawing five one. Uh, this drawing is from Discovering AutoCAD 2017 and AutoCAD 2020, uh, Dix and Riley. Uh, in this drawing, we're gonna create uh, this bricks down. We're gonna use array to create that. Also, we're gonna uh, use uh, the rectangular array and the polar array uh, to create this arc of bricks. The first thing we need to do is uh, decide on the unit, analyze the measurement, and set the strategy to draw the drawing. As I always refer, um, you will have the different ways to do the same drawing. Like I'm gonna use one way, you might use another way, but um, the strategy here you will use uh, to get the same outcome. I'm gonna use one way today. Um, the first thing I need to set the units to architectural. As I said before, you can uh, click on architectural uh, here, down here. If you don't have the units, you can go to um, the customization panel and uh, make sure the unit is checked. Or you can type you and on the command line, enter and get the units, then decide on um, the units that you're using. And in this case, it's architectural. Also, you can go from the application menu, drawing units or drawing utilities, then you choose the unit. And again, uh, from here, you can, uh, from the pull down menu, choose the architectural and you decide on the uh, precision that you need. Always you can modify the precision if you want. Now the units is ready, it's architectural. As you know uh, from my previous drawings, I always uh, recommend creating layers in AutoCAD. It's really important to create unique layers for your drawings. Uh, the first thing to create the layers, you click on layer properties, you click on new layer and you click, um, you give the layer the name. Here in this video, I already created two layers, one for the bricks and one for the dashed lines. As you see here, this line should be in a separate layer. Also, if you need to put dimensions or text, they should be in um, a different layer as well. I'm gonna put um, the bricks as current layer. I could click on it and click on uh, this little check now it is current i know it is current because it is over there on the layer group home top layer group it is current now let's uh, try uh drawing the first part as we see here we do have uh, this break the first thing um i'm gonna draw a line i need to make sure that i have uh, the important tools uh, with me. So the first thing I need to have uh, the object to snap on. I need to make sure that I have endpoint and midpoint. Also, I need center. For now, I don't need that. It's you can keep them. Um, you can keep them. You can um, put them all on if you want. But I don't recommend putting all of them because you will have a lot of points. Sometimes it's distracting. So for now, we're gonna have this three. Endpoint, midpoint, center. Also, we need to have the object snap tracking on so we can get reference lines from our object snap points. Also, I'm gonna put the polar tracking on to get the vertical and the horizontal lines as needed. Now let's get started. We have the bricks layer. I'm gonna draw a line. The first dimension, I'm gonna make it um, vertical. And this is a three. Remember that I don't need to put um, the quotation marks um, for the inches. You can just put it this way. You can put it 3.75 um, or just put dash uh, three slash four, which is the three quarters. Now you put enter, enter to finish that. And this is the first line that we got. I need to put a line, another line uh, from the middle. And that's why I put the object snap on and I picked the midpoint. So this is the one that has a triangle and it has the middle line. So I'll get this one. Um, also, I need the object snap uh, tracking. Uh, they should be on. Make sure you are drawing horizontal line. And this is eight. Eight means eight inches. Okay, because uh, if we are done with feet, we have to put uh, the apostrophe mark. Now we put enter to finish that one, enter. 
Now I need to draw a line, uh, which is uh, two and three quarters. I cannot draw it from here for now, then I move it. So this is a two dash uh, three quarters, enter, enter. Now we will move that line, okay? Click on it, so move, then you click on it, hit enter. I will move it from midpoint to end point. So that is the correct uh, line here. Now I need to draw more lines from end point and that's why the object snap should be on. Okay, to end point. And again, enter, repeat the same command, end point to end point. We finish this uh, brick. And this is the one that we need actually to make it polar array, okay? Now let's draw uh, the second brick. As you see here from the dimension, uh, this is the brick we have. Uh, it's um, four by eight brick. Now uh, let's draw it. Okay, so let's just start from the home tab, draw group, this is the rectangle. I gonna draw it anywhere now, then I will move it. Um, specify first corner, I'm gonna pick a point. Now, from this point, I'll put add to use this point as a reference. It's eight, which is the number on the X axis, so it's eight, then comma, the number on the Y, which is four. Okay, so it's at 8.4. If you want to draw it as polyline or line or another way, that's fine too. Now I'm going to move from end point to midpoint. Okay, so this is what it should look like at this point. Now after this, I need to array this breakdown here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have eight, uh, nine breaks, and between them, the distance here between the breaks is half, half inch. So here you go. I'm gonna take um, the array, polar, rectangular array, this one, and I will select this break. Be careful here. I'm gonna select this the rectangle. Okay. I finished selecting only this rectangle because we just need the ones on the bottom. Now select objects here. Enter. Okay. You look on the top. Actually, you have four columns as a default, and we need here nine. So I'm gonna put nine. And the rows, I just need one row, okay? The distance between, okay, look at that. Now the distance is one feet. Actually, it is eight inches because the length is eight and half inches between the space. So I'm gonna put 8.5, okay? So this is what we have. If we need to change the directions, I can put minus 8.5, okay? And that will make it <clears throat> to the other direction. After that, um, let's make it for this one, I'm gonna make it associative. And what the difference, if I put it associative, that will make it just one array, like all of them together, you cannot delete one part. If you Turn it off so you can um, delete the parts. And I'm gonna do, do it associated for the second one. But for this one, I'm gonna leave it on just to, to show you the difference between associative array and uh, non-associative array. Now, after that, when we, uh, we're happy and satisfied with the number, I'm gonna close the array. As you see now, if you click on it, see it's just one block and because it's associative. So it's one block and you, when you click on it, you still have uh, these properties and you can uh, modify and update, update the things here. Okay, now we finish this. We need to create the other part, which is the polar. 
This one here, we need to choose these lines. So let's go to array and polar array this time. Select objects. It's very important to select the correct lines. Be sure to select all the lines and do not select the array, okay? Just the lines. When you finish, click enter. Now, specify center. The center here is half of it and that's why it's very important to get uh, the midpoint and select the middle of the center brick. As you click on here, you find that you got four bricks. We need to modify uh, some of them. Actually, they are 14 each way, so 28 and one in the middle, 29 bricks. So this number here, the number of the item should be 29. We still need to, to make some more modifications. Uh, the fill angle should be 180, which is half of it. We don't need it to be 360. Now, if we keep that associative, we will not be able to delete the lines. As I said here, we need to delete some lines. If you keep it associative, that will not give you um, the flexibility to delete the line unless you explode the array and you put X enter then explode it. So I'm gonna uh, turn that off, okay, for now and uh, close this array. Now I got uh, this array and now look at that. If you click on that, you see that it has lines. It's different than the associative. The associative is uh, one block. Uh, this is lines because it's an associative. Now let's uh, uh, click on the dashed layer and let's uh, draw a line from this point to this point. We can use the grips to make it a little longer from this side. After that, we need to move. As you see here in the picture, uh, there is a little space, which is half inch. So let's move, click on move, and click on this array. Enter, pick a point, use the reference line, type 0.5, hit enter. So the array moved down. Now let's uh, go back to our brick. Draw line from this point to this point and draw another line. You can hit enter uh, from this point. To this point. The last thing we need to do here is some trimming down here. So trim and we can delete that. Uh, if you're using 2021 you can use trim to delete. If you're using 2020 or earlier versions you cannot use that so you have to just delete it. Okay and also here we have uh, some overlap lines that should be removed. Uh, we do the same thing and here okay and so that's all for this exercise um, we finished uh, drawing 5 1 and um, we used uh, array polar array and rectangular array associative and non-associative ones and we used uh, we created uh, layers we used copy and uh, move uh, i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching